Hello everyone, it's Janelle here from Parents Making an Investment. So this morning as I got up and was getting um, my kids ready for school and getting breakfast and everything and taking out their lunch, I was just reflecting on all the things that I do for my kids and the things that I do prior to even that day. So putting their lunch together the night before to make sure that in the morning everything runs smoothly and then also um, putting their water bottles in the refrigerator the night before, refilling all of that stuff and making sure they get their clothes out the night before. So that way in, our, in the morning they actually get to spend more time sleeping and then less time running around to do these things but also when they get up you know they just go into their morning routine and you know just me prompting them about what is next so I would verbally say you know go brush your teeth get dressed um, get your things together and come to the you know breakfast table and as I was reflecting on this I was thinking of how the age of my children I have a first grader a second grader and a fourth grader this year and I was thinking about how much I do for them and that I started thinking about also you know what I hear from other parents and families as well and how much they do their children do for themselves I mean I've even heard how my children my daughter's classmate pack their own lunches and stuff like that and put their own lunches together and pick out their own clothes and get themselves up and and so this is great that you know I and I just I'm not saying that to don't miss what I'm saying that I don't enjoy this I enjoy doing these things for my children but as I was reflecting on this I was also thinking about how am I preparing them to become independent adults and be able to advocate for themselves and if I wasn't here would they be able to do this stuff on their own and that's the key point that I'm trying to drive today is introducing independence and will our children be able to do these things if we're not around can they self advocate can they do these things for themselves if we're not around and so even though we're here at times to do these things for them there are times where we need to know also that they can do these things for themselves if we're not around and they actually have the tools in their toolbox, right? So I was thinking the way that I could approach introducing independence is little steps, one thing at a time. And so just like I mentioned, prior is that I fill up the water bottles. They come home, they take them out, they empty their lunch boxes, and I fill up their water bottles before they go to bed. And so a way to introduce some level of independence might be even in the evening, say to them is that if you want to have water for school because they take their water bottles to school with them, then the water bottles need to be filled up from the night before so at some point whether it's after dinner or if you want to do when you come home from school clean your water bottles and fill them back up and put them on the top shelf in the refrigerator and if you don't do this that means whatever water is left in your water bottle that's what you'll have the next day for school if there's no water in your water bottle then you won't have any water or you'll just be scrambling around to get it done in the morning. But small steps like that is the way that I'm thinking to be able to introduce um, independence, independence to my children. And even a suggestion to you, if your kids are doing it already, great if you have them at that place of independence, but you can also use these tips also in other areas and it's just slowly introducing your children to independence instead of you know one day overnight they have to do all this stuff by themselves but at least if you start out small and start with small things and gradually you know um, do it 
as they go along and even if it's not during the week because maybe during the school week might be a little bit too much for you but even during on the weekend and let them do these things independently for themselves another example might be packing their lunches and even them deciding what they want for lunch and even putting it together and so if in the morning might be too much but even just ha letting them, allowing them to have the experience like on the weekends and let them decide what they want and to pack it and everything like that and put it in the refrigerator, you know, the day before. These are ways also that we can introduce independence. And I think because it came to me and it's so funny because I have a 22 year old and it's, although I have a 22 year old, it's so funny some of these things I have to draw back and pull back on and remind myself of how did I prepare him? How did I prepare him for school age? How did I prepare him for junior high? And I have to remember those steps and those um, independent actions that I took to get him to that place um, of independence. And one another step that I did also is because I was at home in the morning and I started working really early and my mom put them on the school bus is what I did was I created like a poster board size of all the routine that he needed to follow in the morning so it would be and because he's a visual learner what I did was I post pictures just off of the computer off of Microsoft Word or you could find it in a magazine and cut it out and let them do it with you and I just post pictures of like the toothbrush toothpaste and then um excuse me and then them saying um the words brush your teeth and then clothes little pictures of clothes and someone getting dressed and then i said get dressed eat breakfast get your backpack get your lunch those little steps and those little points to remind him and not very long not too many just like five to remind him of what he needed to do in the morning to stay on task and also to be able to do it and complete it independently before leaving out the door and so i think at the same time that while in the process of being overwhelmed and school starting all over again for my three young children i have to remind myself and reflect because i want to actually introduce independence. And so that's one thing that I already know that I could do and I reminded myself about it and actually a parent came along today and she started talking about it and then I'm just like, oh yeah, I used to do that for my older child, yeah. And yes, it, it, it can still work. So therefore, it's something that I can continue to do and then also with the get them getting lunch together and the reason why I came to this place let me say this the reason why I came to introducing and wanting and needing to introduce independence is because of what I find that was happening last school year my child would forget her instrument my son would forget his shoes and his water bottle and once a few times it was the lunch and they would, he would actually ask his teacher to email me so I could bring it to school. And even though I'm willing to do these things for my children, but what I don't want is once again where they don't take responsibility of these items, of their gym shoes, and remembering these things, and it carry over into their school life, like remembering homework. Remember in your assignment notebook to bring it home so you can know what assignment you need to do and to bring your homework back to school. So even though you do it at school, it needs to go in your bag. And so this is how I'm saying that all these, the introducing independence, it affects other little areas and, and other little areas filter in that you can implement the same idea, the same concept to just in different ways in different forms and so because I saw that last year I said okay well this year I want to have the right start and do something differently and so therefore I'm saying this year that what my goal is right now starting this week 
is to introduce some independence. And not to say that mom won't do it for you, dad can't do it for you, grandma, grandpa can't do it for you, but there's a place that I want you to get to and be independent in making sure that you have what you need so you can be and feel successful throughout your school day. So you can be able to participate in gym, participate in your activities, participate in um, getting your homework in on time and all these areas. And so this way, I'm going to start. And if you haven't done already, please join me. I'm inviting you to start with, with me in introducing independence to your children. Start out very small. And what I'm gonna start doing is telling them that it's their responsibility to fill up their water bottles. And so that it needs to happen when they come home from school before they start, before they go off into doing their homework and all this other stuff, it needs to happen or it needs to happen right before they go to bed. And so that can happen. And then, and even though I put their lunch together because I make their lunches, I will do that. But then maybe the start could be, they need to go in the refrigerator, they need to get their lunches out and put them in their lunch box. And then they need to put their lunch box in their backpacks because it was getting to the point where I'm putting the lunch together, I'm taking it out the refrigerator, I'm putting it in their lunch box. And, and I had to like, you know, draw the brakes and all of it today and just reflect on, am I creating um, my t children to become codependent or am I actually helping them to be independent and then be able to be able to channel through life and um, by what I'm teaching them. And so I want them to be independent. We want our children to be independent. And so that way we can do things and be where we need to be and not feel that our kids cannot thrive and strive without us. And we want them to strive and thrive without us. And so we have to allow that by introducing independence. So won't you join me today and take these small steps, whatever little way, those ideas that I have presented and that I've shared with you, you can start there. Or if you have other ways and other things that you see that you want your children to become independent in and they aren't and they haven't at this point, you can introduce it in small ways until it grows. And so please reply, respond, comment below, and let me know how it's going for you. And I will do the same. And hopefully our children will then not get frustrated and get upset thinking that we're just being mean and we want them to do everything by themselves. Because sometimes they do develop that attitude. And so I hope that they, that doesn't happen to our kids, but they will appreciate it. Um, and they will see that this is something that they can do and it becomes their responsibility and they take ownership to it. So hope this video helps you today and please subscribe if you haven't already, like and share as well and comment below. If you have any questions, you can also reach out to me on Janelle Stewart at parentsmakinginvestment.com.